I'm bringing you guys on my last 20 stops for today. As you guys know, today is Sunday, November the 20th, and I had 100 stops today. It is, what time is it? 2.21. So I have 20 more stops, and then I am done for the day. I did mention to you guys in a separate video that we were told by a DSP when there are low routes as such as today <laughs> then we are guaranteed eight hours so hopefully today categorizes in that low route I saw a couple of drivers who did have way more bags than me but I'm not sure where they're going or you know if they somebody just ordered a bunch a bunch of packages and it's all going to the same place I really don't know I am in one of my favorite apartments, however. So today, you know what? Today has like really been a good day. It's been very smooth. I haven't had any issues. The app does get frustrating sometimes still because there's a lot of turning around. At some point, they'll get it together. I really feel like they're gonna get it together. I still have to turn my van off at every stop. I'm slightly under the weather, guys, so I do apologize for the raspiness. I'm still pushing through because I didn't have a lot today. My Chiefs play today. I'm excited. The game starts at like 7.15, so I'll be at home in enough time to watch it. I don't know if I ever mentioned to you guys that I pretty much deliver kind of in the same area. I requested to. I used to deliver everywhere. I used to be sometimes like 25 minutes away from the station. I'm gonna go around this way. I just really enjoy this particular area. Like I say, you're gonna have your bad days, but for the most part, I like to become familiar with where I'm delivering at. I'm not always good with change. I usually adapt to it, but if I can be in the same area or somewhat close to it, I feel like it helps me try to remember, you know, where my stops are. Get familiar with the customers. And I feel like I get done faster because I know where I'm going. It's just sad. Oh, there's Scruffles. As we all know, as we approach the holiday season, you're going to come across some thieves. So it's just best literally to turn your van off at every stop and lock your van. A lot of times the van automatically locks itself as soon as you slam it shut the side door. So I usually don't have to worry about locking it. So far, so good. God is good today. I'm at my third stop here in this apartment complex. And they all have seemed to be on the first floor. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few on the second floor, but it's fine. These apartments don't have third floors. So that's a great thing.
oh how are you guys enjoying um the houses being circled in green i'm curious to see how the night's gonna go i think this is super beneficial to us drivers for sure Ooh, another stop on the first floor let's get it Oh Lord, I twisted the seatbelt. Okay, so I'm looking at my app and I have a delivery. I don't know if you guys can see. There's two different apartment complexes, so I'm going to skip to my next stop. That way I can take both deliveries together and I don't have to run back to the van. Where is it? At? Or do I? Oh, no, I don't have to. No. You know what? I'm tripping. Never mind. Never mind. I had someone ask me in the comments, what would they recommend for women who deliver in rural areas? I have thought about that because when I used to do flex, before I started working here as a DA, I, that's every, pretty much that's where I had to deliver was in the rural areas. Um, I would just use the restroom before I left the house. I would go like multiple times because I mean you really can't go to be honest unless you just went off your route and went to a restroom I would go as much as possible before you leave that's my recommendation they do have female urinals that you can bring with you but I mean where are you gonna excuse my language, cop a squat and pee at. Can't pee in a, a customer's yard. Where am I at? I just feel like if you gotta go, then you need to take a break and you have to go. There's just no other way around it. I mean, you can't be can't be sitting here you know trying to deliver and you have to pee really bad it's just not gonna work out it's gonna be super uncomfortable and you definitely can't work 10 hours and not use the restroom that's gonna be uncomfortable as well all right where are we at I don't know if you guys are aware that there's more layoffs here with Amazon, but it's primarily in the corporate office. So I'm not sure if they're just trying to balance things out because they need to hire more drivers and warehouse workers, or did they just have a bunch of people, you know, in corporate with positions that, you know, just wasn't fulfilling. Either way, it's a sad situation. Here we are just days away from Thanksgiving and people are being let go and it's super super heartbreaking when you have bills to take care of and you have Christmas coming up I mean it's just you know so devastating it really is I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy
right, this package goes on the side. So I'm gonna go around there, actually. I got these apartments down lock. I practically know where each apartment is. And sometimes this map can try to be tricky and have me going back and forth. Oh, let me get out this lady's way. I need to pull over and see where I'm going next. Okay, let's see where I need to go. Um, I don't want the current stop. Okay, so I'm going to two locations. Oh y'all, my nose is so runny today. There definitely is like a bug going around. I'm pretty sure as it gets colder and colder, some of these businesses that we deliver to they're probably gonna start requiring everyone to wear a mask before they enter the building. So, so all the newbies, get ready. Might have to pop that mask on. Okay. Seven, eight, what else we got? First one, oh, 104 is back this way. See, I thought I had it locked. For the most part today, I have been taking my time. I'm just kind of moving a little swiftly just for you guys for my last 20 stops. And then there's also a training video that I am required to watch. And it's about delivering at night. And I think actually there's two videos. One's about delivering at night and the other one, I believe, is just about delivering in the winter time. So Amazon is creating all these safety videos for its drivers. Unfortunately, you know, it kind of took for something tragic to happen. We should have had these videos years ago when they first started delivering. But, you know, there's trial and area error, excuse me, with every business. I'm going to make my own video as well about delivering at night and also delivering in the winter time. What better person 
than someone who actually delivers out here on these streets, okay? Too. Okay, so that's across the street, so I'm just gonna walk. You know what? Let me look at my phone really quick just to make sure I don't need to deliver to the building right next to it. Okay, I don't need to. Cause who hate running back and forth to the same spot is me. Two oh two. I ask, do you guys use your hazard lights in the daytime when you're delivering or do you just use them at night? Because I feel like I've been using my hazard lights a lot more often than normal because first of all, I'm always on the wrong side of the street. I don't like running across the street because these people are always flying down the roads and I would be the one to get hit. Eleven more stops, guys. And actually, I think I got just a couple more here, and then I'll be going to another apartment complex. But it's just a minute away. Not far at all. After a while, once you start delivering and get the hang of it, you'll kind of have your own little flow. You'll know how fast you need to go or if you need to slow down, you know, depending on if you need to get your full hours. Because some companies, they don't pay for the full 10 and some of them do. Because it's peak season. Y'all see 11 bags now. Peak season, I'm probably going to have 19, 20, 21. Depends on how much people will be ordering this holiday season. Let's see what we got. I need to go to two different apartment buildings, but one's across the street right here, but I'm gonna go to this one second. I'm gonna go deliver this box first and come back to my van. I didn't even tell y'all I was delivering earlier in my route today 
and I saw an Amazon package in somebody's mailbox and I'm like y'all know better I'm like y'all do know that that's a federal offense right we are not supposed to be putting any Amazon packages inside of a customer's mailbox that is strictly for USPS not FedEx not UPS and damn sure not Amazon all right so I don't know if you guys can see but this is one building but there's like two different sections there's a section over there there's a section over there I have to go to both of them One's on the top floor and one's on the bottom. Let's see what I got. go ahead and hit this top floor first and then go to my bottom one oh so another scruffles again oh calm down scruffles It's so much easier walking through the grass to get over here, but y'all, we got to be careful because there's a lot of dog poop that be out. I'll be right back, y'all. I am so sorry, guys. I actually had to take a phone call, but I have five stops left. I am headed to my next apartment complex and I didn't even tell you guys that you can be on your phone all day long if you want to. That's one of the perks of being a driver. I have my earbud in and of course, you know, you still got to pay attention to the road and pedestrians and all that good stuff. But anytime somebody calls me, I can take that phone call because I'm here by myself. There's nobody telling me you need to get off your phone. I'm trying to turn on this busy road here. It's a lot of traffic on this Sunday. I have my radio off because I am delivering and talking to you guys. But normally my radio is off all the time anyway. I only have my radio on when I am leaving the station, headed to my first stop, which is like 17 to 20 minutes away. And I turn my radio back on when I'm headed back to the station. There's really no need for my radio to be on because everybody can hear it. And I have an earbud. And I just stick my personal cell phone in my pocket. I'm usually on YouTube listening to um, other, other people talk. Sometimes I listen to music. Where am I going to? Oh, I gotta go this way. But if you're jumping in and out of the van, you're not gonna hear your music if you gotta you know, walk a little ways to deliver your package. So you might as well just get you some earbuds, connect it to your phone, and just listen to your music that way. I mean, don't nobody want you pulling up to their house anyway and blasting music from your work, man. And to me, it's kind of unprofessional.
But yeah, if you want to talk to your grandma all day, you can do that. I don't know if I would tell my grandma, you know, <laughs> that you can be on your phone all day. Because they probably be wanting to talk the entire <laughs> work day. I feel like, Grandma, I got to go. So I have four more stops, but I get a few packages. So I wonder if somebody's getting extra packages or what? Or are there some stops that I missed? turn around yeah I'm gonna turn around and go into the other parking lot that's the only thing that sucks about delivering to apartments on Sundays because everybody is off and it ain't really nowhere to park for real Maybe I can back in here. Lord, everybody can hear me backing up. It's so loud. Okay. All right, let's take a look-see and see where exactly I'm going because okay so I am going to two different places so I'm gonna grab both of my packages so I don't have to come back to the van where else do I need to go okay so yeah guys and you need to go to two different apartment buildings if you're familiar with your route. Take both of them packages with you so you don't have to keep running back and forth to your van. Because see, I'm about to deliver to this building and then there's a building right behind it that I'm going to. But I deliver here all the time. So I'm pretty familiar with this route. Actually, I'm gonna just go ahead and go to the building behind me since I scanned that package. Let's go here. my phone just asked me do I want to take a meal break bro I am done I'm almost done Package is going to my next stop. Okay, so I have six packages left, two stops.
And remember guys, I have to watch that training video. I was supposed to watch it in between my stops, but I just wanted to get done. But I am gonna watch it as soon as I'm done with these last two stops. And then I will text dispatch and let them know that I am done and I have no returns. And I have to wait for them to text me back and let me know to RTS, which is return to the station. It usually doesn't take them long. I would say maybe a, a minute to two minutes. It doesn't take them long at all to tell you to come back to the station. Okay. Let me put this in here. I put this in my pocket. Feels in 